Hello everyone and welcome to the first episode of Thank God It's Flow. In this episode, we will talk about getting started with Microsoft Flows. Um, we will touch upon licensing briefly. We'll look at sign up. Uh, we will look at the start page where we can enter the process name or check out the templates. We will look at the mobile app, which is a bit exciting. And we will see if you have found a reason yet to use Microsoft Flows. So stay tuned, coming up right after the intro. All right, so here we go. Um, what I've done is, uh, this is Google Chrome and I'm um, browsing flow.microsoft.com. So that's where you need to go, um, flow.microsoft.com. And you land uh, onto this page. Now, the first thing we want to talk about is licensing. So since we're here and you cannot clearly see anywhere where you have to look at pricing, what you need to do is click on learn and then towards the end, it has got pricing. So if I click on that, it takes me to this page, which is this. Now, my screen shows you prices in US dollars. You can obviously change it to any other currency which is available in the drop down list. I will select Australian dollars. So as and when I do that, I see a change in pricing. Um, so I'll just refer to Aussie dollars instead of US dollars. So you can see there are two plans available per user plan, wherein you allow that user to build unlimited flows, which is good. And then you've got a per flow plan. Now you cannot uh, buy per flow plan less than five. So you have to have at least five flows for that. So 636 Aussie for that. And then every I think every flow you add in that plan, uh, it costs about 100 US uh, on top of this amount. Um, so we can look at that. So the details are there. Um, you can look at that. Um, yeah, so 100 US dollars. So you can see number one, it says 128, but that's showing you Aussie dollars. So in US dollars, it would be $100 more per flow extra. Minimum, you have to have five for per flow plan. And then you've got a per user plan, which is 20 Aussie dollars per user per month. Uh, but that allows you to build unlimited flows as it says. Now, you can definitely go to this website and click on pricing and read all about it. Um, that's quite clear. Now, if you want to look at more details, I have provided a link in the description. Uh, that's a blog by Jussie. Um, I think it works for Microsoft. Um, so it has that particular blog has got a lot of history over power apps and flow licensing. So you can definitely read that and get a better idea there. So that's why I didn't try to unnecessarily explain more here because licensing in itself right now is too confusing, but there are certain blogs which are really good. And that's why I've referred to it in my blog as well as uh, in the description of this video. So you can have a look there. Okay, so that was about licensing, very quick. Now, when we go to flow.microsoft.com, I talked about sign up. So I'm actually missing out on one thing. So I must tell you this. So when we are on the licensing page, you three, you see multiple um, sign up options. One is sign up free here on top where my cursor is right now. And then you have develop your skills and explore Microsoft flow for free. So you can sign up there as well. Um, so if I click on that, let me just click. If I click on that, it asks me to sign in um, with something which is already registered with Microsoft. Obviously, you can create a new one as well as it says here. Uh, so I do have a community account from which I can sign in and just try to learn Microsoft. That's a very good sign that Microsoft is providing a learning option for free. So click on go back. Now, 
The second option here is sign up free. If I click there, it immediately asks me for my email ID. So what it will do is check whether you're already registered or not. If not, it will try to take you to the sign up page. And then you've got sign in, which is this, which means you have already registered or signed up with them. And now you just want to use Microsoft Flows. So those are those options. Now, so this is flow.microsoft.com. And the first thing we see here is a search bar, right? So on top, definitely on top navigation, you can see templates, connectors, learn and stuff like that. Um, what we can do here is we can search for a template. So let's say, how do I say, attachments. So I want to store attachments. So I'll just type store attachments. And once I do that, um, Flow goes to the entire library and search for something where attachments are said to be stored. So you can now see so many options are provided to you. Uh, these are nothing but actually templates. So that's one way of searching. So we have spoken about licensing. We have spoken about sign up. Now we are on the landing page, which is also referred to as the start page. And you can do two things there. One, search for the template or the business process you want to automate. So basically typing the keyword so that the system can come back with uh, relevant options to you. Or you can directly go to the template. So I'll click on back. When I click on back, so this is where we search it. Now, if I scroll down, you can see featured template collections, right? And then you've got popular services. So um, if I click on popular services here, it keeps on showing me different um, services and I can click on see all. It clearly says 298 popular services are there, which does include your SharePoint, Excel, Dynamics, 365, WordPress, Instagram, Twitter, um, things like that. And then you've got featured template collection. So it clearly tells you templates for your sales team, um, for your productivity, software dev, and you can keep clicking here and get to see more of them. So let's click on uh, classroom tasks. So six templates. If I go here, it gives me certain templates. So there were these many templates. I'll just read out one, notify me in Outlook when a student completes a quiz. So this is part of forms and it's a template you can use that whenever somebody has, a student of mine has completed a quiz, I receive an email so that then I can get go there and evaluate the quiz. Okay, so that was about the start page uh, where we can search for templates or directly look into templates. Now, this is not limited to just the templates available to you online. You can definitely create your own custom template. Uh, that's possible as well. We we'll look into it in future episodes. For now, we will jump into the second last uh, topic for today, which is looking at the mobile app. That's one of the very cool thing Microsoft has done because you really don't need your laptop or desktop or anything like that. You just have your mobile. You can do everything from there. And that's very handy. Like if you need a quick flow, which is like short and simple, you can do it probably in five minutes from your mobile itself, which is very handy. So we will look into that now. So so that's my um, screen recorded from my mobile. I will just play that video. So what I'm doing is that's my Microsoft Flow folder. I've clicked on Microsoft Flow mobile app. It's asking me for the username. So I've selected my username and then it's trying to sign you in. If you're not signed in or you're trying it for the first time, you'll have to enter credentials. Um, what I'm trying to show you here is your flows activity, whatever uh, flows been run. Then I went on to browse and where I can see all the templates, I can also search for them and I can create one from blank. Now I'll click on buttons. So you can even create a button for flow so you can run them manually. 
So that's also cool. Now I'm clicking on flows. There was a list of flows. I went on to one of my flows, looked at its run history. Then I'll click on owners because you can share the owners. Um, then I'll click on uh, copy a flow or save as feature. So you can save them as well. Um, now I'm clicking on edit the flow. Now look at the beauty of this. You can actually update your flow or edit the flow right from your mobile. And this is very cool. I liked it too much. Um, all right, so I did not save it. And then obviously I haven't clicked on account button, but if you click on account, you've got all those sign out, sign in options. So that was your mobile app. And do tell me in the comment section that how do you feel about this Flow mobile app? Now, um, okay, I'll switch to this. Um, the last section or the last topic for today was, have you found a reason yet to start using Flows? Now I'll share my story, how I got into it and started using them. So my background is Dynamics 365 CE and they've got native workflows within our business application. So, there was no need until one day. There was no technical person available in my team. And I had a requirement from a client where I was supposed to do this, which I'm just going to tell you. So what they wanted is a report on postcode and states. Now in D365, postcode is a text field. So all we wanted to do is populate a state lookup. So that was a lookup field, custom lookup field we created for state. Now based on the text postcode into it, it will go to all the states which we were managing in territories as far as I remember. Um, and it will check all the states where this number can be found, this postcode can be found and populate that lookup. So that's where I started using Flow. This is about one one and a half years or more than one year for sure uh, back uh, when I started using Flow because I could not achieve it from workflows and workflows which are native to Dynamics 365 but the Flow uh, I used was able to do that. Now, as I said, there was no technical person available so I had to do it in a way where I, I don't need to program because I cannot program, that's not my skill set. Hence, I started using Flow. So that was my reason of using it. Have you found a reason yet? That's why I asked that question. Because there would be definitely one reason you want to use it. Um, just the first reason, obviously you'll have multiple reasons over the period of time, what's good and bad for your client, what's efficient, uh, what's optimized, depends. But have you found the first reason yet? So do let me know in the comment section. Um, thank you so much for watching. Uh, do give it a big thumbs up uh, video and provide me your feedback. Uh, let me know what you want to watch next. Um, most probably we'll be looking at creating our own first flow in the next episode. Um, have a great day guys. Thank you. <laughs>